Hey guys, it's Steve again with a brand new video coming to you this time uh, in a whole brand new year. And uh, I am in the process of buying a new kayak and a bunch of new stuff that goes along with it. And one of the first things I'm getting is I just got a new Dragonfly 4 Pro Sonar. And uh, I don't know if you guys have seen anything on the, the Dragonfly 4 five and the Dragonfly 7. Uh, the new kayak that I'm picking up is going to be a Jackson Big Rig, which was developed specifically with the Dragonfly in mind. So um, we're going to see how it works this year and we're going to try a whole new style of fishing maybe and, and look at things a little bit different, take it a little bit more seriously than last year. Um, what I want to do here real quick is do an unboxing. I just got it in today. I pick up the, the kayak this weekend. And uh, so once I have the kayak back in the garage, I'm gonna do some work on it, get it all rigged out and get it ready. Uh, it is still pretty cold here in Kansas. And I drove by the lake that I go onto most of the time. And uh, it was still frozen over a little bit. We could see the water already. So uh, I'm hoping next week it's supposed to be in the 50s. So if I can get all of this thing kitted out, say uh, Sunday, Monday, maybe I can be back on the water later on in the week and doing some more videos. But uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do the unboxing here today. So Dragonfly 4, it's 4.3 inches instead of the 5.7 that's on the 5. It has all the same features. It has the GPS, it has the down scan, it has the chirp. Uh, it has the, this one, it comes with the Navionics Gold kit. So uh, I can do some more stuff on bigger water. I don't know how much bigger water I'm gonna play with, but uh, I figured I'd go all out since more than likely my wife won't let me do a whole lot of additional spending. So uh, let's take a look. Open this thing up. And as always, get your instruction book take a look at that here in a second here are the navionics so this is the uh, the gold kit and uh, you should be able to see that there so I'm looking forward to playing with that we have the main unit take that out real quick Single spot, nice little area for, uh, for being able to lock into. I guess under here is where we put our SD card. All this is supposed to be pretty waterproof. So uh, put that aside for the moment. Looks like we have our base. We have like a lock or something. We have our transducer and uh, all of the cable that comes with it. We have uh, more of the base and I'll open this up a little bit more here in a second. We have a number of additional small pieces of our mounting kit hardware. Um, then it uh, looks like a transducer mount. And a tiny little ball. I'm told that it's supposed to be uh, supposed to work fairly well with with some of the aftermarket balls. So uh, we will see where that goes. I don't see anything else in there at the moment. I will set all of this aside. We'll take a look. So, as we saw before, this is the uh, big piece here. It's got a nice little screen. I'm interested to see how it's going to be once I get it out on the kayak. 
the controls this year are a little bit different on the Dragonfly 5 and the Dragonfly 7. They had a little switch here that you could turn. Um, this time it's got some, some different pieces here. And uh, so when I get that all lit up, I'm looking forward to it. So we'll set that off. take it all out. Now it's kind of funny. This one was supposed to be delivered second and I picked up the transducer kit and the uh, battery kit from Jackson Kayak and uh, apparently there's a really big storm happening out in uh, Kentucky in that area and so FedEx got snowed in and so that will take a little while to get here hopefully it'll be here uh, tomorrow Saturday maybe Monday at the latest but uh, it's going to include the kit that I'll mount this into the uh, the kayak with also where I put the battery underneath and uh, and that way it does it the same way that they all envisioned originally. And as you can see, the transducer is very long. It's got the Chirp transducer. Uh, this whole kit comes with GPS, so I'll be able to do all the GPS things. Um, it's, it's supposed to be able to mount underneath the, the kayak that I got, the, the big rig, and uh, and so there will be a kit that comes in. I'm betting that uh, this will be attached and then we'll sit up through and then it will go through the scupper mount. And then, then we'll run all the other pieces through some waterproof um, housing. So that is pretty much it. Um, once I have it all installed, and I get it up and running, then we'll go ahead and we'll do a walkthrough of, of how to work it. But uh, I also plan to do an install video. The other install videos that I've seen online um, leave something to be desired. So with that being said, I think that's everything. Uh, look forward to installing it and giving you guys a little bit more. See you then.